area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. And I'll give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? I'm a devil type of sandwich, very sexy, I'm a manish. Looking for some beefy shorty, shaking Mr. Beefy. Throw that coochie pussy, if you feed me, I'ma eat it. Just don't play no games, if you do it, I'ma beat it. Yeah, Mr. Beefy. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, let it click and blam. Hit your man. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single one of y'all. Salute to my guy Showtime, SP, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. So let's just talk about Real Sick versus Arsenal. Real Sick versus Arsenal. So you got Real Sick, one of them guys that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? He's been making his rounds. He's had his battles. He just he battled Mike P not too long ago. He battled Danny Myers. You know how that one went. Battled Chilla Jones. And since he's been doing this run, he's been like getting a lot of love. He's been, you know, in there. Lyrical style. Real lyrical bars, presence. And it's pretty much grew himself up from the ground out of Jersey. Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Newark, Jersey, and all of that. And now he's starting to get that look. When you start getting that look, you start getting bigger names, bigger plates, bigger battles. They're not having you in the store legacies and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you starting to starting to bubble. When you bubble, you cause trouble. And now you got none other than Arsenal. So Arsenal, we all know. Legendary cat. Jumps in his bag when he wants to. When Arsenal wants to really, really hone in and focus on an opponent. He's one of those ones. Legendary status. We cannot act like what Arsenal has done in his career has not been legendary. You know what I'm saying? Like he's one of those guys, you know, from UW to his own league to battling on URL to some of the most viewed battles that we ever seen. You know, you got Arsenal just making his ways. And this is happening on a super fight. Super fight ain't super light this time around. I guarantee you, you know what I'm saying? I know the card. I, I you know what I'm saying? There's some battles on this joint. I'm not even gonna hold you. So I'm not even gonna act surprised as the rollouts and announcements happened because I heard about this one and I thought about it. I was like, yo, lyrically, them boys could really have a seance out there. That could be a war. And you know, like whenever a new cat comes up, especially from Jersey, that whole hierarchy you battle the shotgun shows, the arsenals, the old reds, you know what I'm saying? It looks like he's just going straight to ours first. And I'm, I ain't gonna hold you real sick has been one of those ones that ever since I really first heard him and saw him, I was highly impressed. You know what I'm saying? A, a super dope pen, a, a crazy presence. You know, he, he can get in people's space, he can rally you up, and he can literally tear people apart. I've seen it with Danny Myers. Like, he can really tear an MC apart. This, he, yo, he was so crazy versus Danny Myers. Like, he dunked on him. Uh, he had the line that caused the controversy, the K through 12, that I didn't remember Don Marino said. And then it was a narrative. Like, he can really literally take some shit, flip it. And I just like the way that he packaged his shit and delivered it. It was just better. Whatever. I don't care. Fight me when you see me out Who cares? That's just how I felt. Like, he delivered it. The way he delivers his shit ain't the way. It's either delivery or DiGiorno. He don't deliver his shit the way other niggas deliver their shit. His bars is catered. His, his style is different. Like, it's not the same. You know what I mean? And you can see, like, to keep it funky monkey with y'all, with man, I don't even need to say how the, how the URL works or how leagues work. Just look at the opportunities that people is getting. You can name Battle Rapper A. Look at the battles that he's getting. Look at Battle Rapper B. Look at the battles that they're getting. Easy the Black Captain, look at the battles he's getting. Real Sick, look at the battles he's getting. The Kid Chaoses, look at the battles he's getting. The uh, the Luke Castros, look at the battles he's getting. And you take whoever else you want to name and look at the battles that they're getting. That will tell you who's who and what's what. I ain't got to even say it. The, which, what, what's put out is what the outcome going to be income. Whatever's put out there is what's going to come back. Now to this battle. Um... Like I said, Arsenal is one of those individuals that when he feels like, I could have seen Arsenal battling Easy the Black Captain or Real Sick. 
Because a lot of these guys, when they see somebody's hot, they see somebody's moving, they want to try to be the roadblock or stop all that energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's equity in these guys. Even the newer guys, there's equity in them. And like what Calico said in the Hitman Joint, you can pull the equity out of somebody by getting their attention or getting that wave that they're getting by just battling them, doing good, or potentially beating them. So you pull the equity out of them, and it builds your stock up even more. But what a real sick, I mean, the, the, the path that he's on, I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> Arsenal, you a dangerous MC. I know how you give it up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you've won your last couple of battles, but real sick is just a different type of animal right now. Like, that's a different type of monster. Like, he's not about to play with you. He's not. Did you see his last joints, Arsenal? Did you see what he did? He not about to play with you. It's hard for me to go from somebody who just had a 3 0 body bag body body bag to say they're gonna lose and that's bad. like that's a lot like that's a real big swing of the pendulum to say he went from a 3-0 body bag to up oh, he gonna lose um now i will say danny myers it was kind of you know his fault he wasn't prepared he stumbled and fumbled through all of his rounds and i felt like real sick did deserve more than the effort that danny myers gave but danny myers is battling again like next week versus jay the night win you know, I'm not gonna say nothing. Just let it happen. If you if you if he comes back and shows that he's able to do it, then so be it. If not, we go back down this road. But um, the 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 battle itself, I think it definitely starts to separate the levels of the newer guys. Real sick deserves it though, because like I said, he brought it to Chilla Jones. You know what I'm saying? I did edge the battle to Chilla, but he brought it to him. He brought it to Mike P. He destroyed B Magic. He destroyed Danny Myers. Like, you can't, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this guy is here to stay. He's not going nowhere. And in order to beat him, you're gonna really have to jump in the bag. And I see a lot, there's probably gonna be a lot of the other bigger named lyrical monster MCs that's gonna have to stand in front of him. The JCs are gonna have to see him. Uh, who else is out there? It's a lot of pens, like Loso. You're gonna have to see him. Uh, Y'all gonna have to see uh, Real Sick, cause Real Sick ain't going nowhere. I know they pushed in a lot of new guys. We might've got like 10, 15 new guys all at the same time. They not all gonna last. Like, the, the, what, what don't come out in the wash comes out in the rinse. A year from now, half of, you're not gonna see half of these niggas. It is what it is. I, 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 like I said, Grip the Hammer ain't nothing but a nigga with a camera. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've seen this before. They bring in a whole bunch of new people and then It'll be like two or three getting really, really, really big time pushed. And Geechee Gotti came in. Who's getting the push like Geechee Gotti is right now? That came in with him. I'll wait. When Twerk came in. Who's getting the push like Twerk is getting? Right, wrong, or indifferent? Like, like y'all can call it what you want. A lot of people will be like, oh, he don't deserve this. I'm not here for none of that right now. Who's getting the push like that? That machine is not getting put behind everybody, man. Motherfuckers get a battle of two. But they ain't getting that machine push behind them. Okay, then. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I don't want to spit too much truth today. Um, but what I will say is, like I said, I think that it's a definitely a fire battle. I think that these guys um, have been working. And I feel like this one, um, this one's real six. Real six battle to lose. Like, this is his battle to lose. Not Arsenal's to win. I think the loss would mean more. A clear loss would mean more to Real Sick because the way he's trending. Uh, a classic would do more for both. A classic, a, a clear win would mean a lot for Arsenal, but a clear loss would mean more to Real Sick because him and Easy the Black Captain is like trending upwards right now. Like them niggas is going like this. I seen Shotgun Shield call out Easy the Black Captain today. Uh, Easy the Black Captain said, you know, that's something that. He wouldn't mind because he got some things he want to talk to him about. And then you had uh, Mav Hoffa saying some shit about the Goods battle. You know, I think it's because Mav Hoffa wants to battle Goods. You know what I'm saying? He, he does want it, but Goods kind of like curved it. So I don't know how that shit goes. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm just, I'm just giving the views and spitting the news. You know what I mean? But uh, real sick. Um, you know you bubbling when a blogger... They, battle rappers always be like, our opinions don't matter, fuck them niggas, their opinions don't matter, whoop-de-whoop-de-whoop. You know you bubbling when 
your opinion matters a lot. Like, I literally used a clip from his battle with Danny Myers, and it was a clip from All Things Battle. I don't be, I don't have the whole battle and shit. I was scrolling my timeline and shit, and I said, oh, this is a nice clip. I put the clip in the video, and it caused an outrage. Niggas was hot, like, yo, how you don't give the same admiration when somebody else used the same thing, and then boop, did the boop, did the boop. And me personally, you know, I'm from I Don't Give a Fuck Boulevard. I really don't care. It's like, you need to apologize. I'm not apologizing for no blog, my nigga. It's just never going to happen. I just, I don't do it. But real sick is rising so much that niggas would get mad. If you recap his bars and he said something that somebody else might have said or whatever the case may be, but I'm in the gym and it's all right and I could really fight, so that's why I say whatever I want. But I'm just letting you know, um, Arsenal's not gonna play with you. Don't think Arsenal's gonna play with you, sick. I, I definitely want you to know that Arsenal is not about to play with you on no level. I got real sick winning 2-1 though. I will tell you this, Super Fight is going to be the best Super Fight that's ever been. There's not even, it shouldn't even really be considered a Super Fight. It should be like the pre-Summer Madness or like a, a, a baby gnome. Like these niggas, the card that they've put together from what I heard and what I've seen, it doesn't matter who told me, ding, 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 let me in the rolly. It don't matter who told me. Um, <laughs> them niggas got some shit. Um, other than that, man, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate every single one of y'all that watch this shit. Um, salute to my guy Showtime SP. Like I said, we will be back together in a quick second. Um, and all that and all of that, you know what I'm saying? If you ever watch this content, whether one time or religiously, I appreciate you. But uh, real sick versus Arsenal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Arsenal, you better pack your lunch for this because Real Sick is trying to knock your head clean off your shoulders. Don't think that this is going to be an easy one because he's trying to smoke you. Like, if you ain't watching none of his battles, and yo, y'all got history because didn't Real Sick battle on you, Dub, too? Like, he came up under you. Oh. I know how this is going to go. Yeah. Let's get it. And I'll give you ladies something to shake the beefy cheeks to. You hear me? I'm a different type of sandwich, very sexy, I'm a manish Looking for some beefy, shawty shaking, Mr. Beefy Throw that coochie pussy, if you feed me, I'ma eat it Just don't play no games, if you do it, I'ma beat it Yeah, Mr. Beefy